Hey guys, Scott from RecordingSolution.com. I want to show you a quick video about using elastic time to change the tempo of already recorded tracks. So right now I just have uh, drum tracks and then I have one acoustic scratch take and an acoustic riff take that I just use for a DI. A DI acoustic doesn't sound very good. It was just for a placeholder for the drummer. And we recorded it to a click track at 87, tempo 87. But we kind of want to see what it sounds like maybe one or two beats slower. But the problem is we already recorded it and the drummer has, is gone. So what to do is we use elastic audio. So um, what you got to do is, so let's highlight the tracks, kick, snare, all the way down here, and I'm going to do acoustic and acoustic riff. So we need to enable what we call elastic audio. So that's this guy right here. So I would click on him. And now we have all these algorithms. And what do they mean? Polyphonic means anything that has more than one note, like a piano. Rhythmic, obviously, is like drums, percussion. Monophonic would be like a single note, like a bass guitar or a vocal. And then very speed would be similar to like tape, where if you sped it up, the pitch would go up. And if you slowed it down, the pitch would go down. So it messes with time and pitch. So for the drums, I'm going to do rhythmic. So that's rhythmic, rhythmic. Let me make sure they all did it. Hi-hat, rhythmic. And then for the acoustic, I had the all button here on, so it changed them all. For the acoustic, I'm going to do, oops, change it to polyphonic because I'm playing chords, so there's more than one note. And then for the riff, it's just uh, single notes. It's like a little guitar riff, so I'm going to do monophonic. Um, and then here's where people get confused. By default, uh, audio clips, like audio, re any audio information is set to sample based, which is set to the minutes and seconds of the session. And anything uh, instrument or MIDI is, is tick based. And that is set to the bars and beats. So I want to change it to tick base for this okay because we're dealing with tempo changes so i'm gonna hit option and change it all to ticks whoops i hit the wrong button option hit this little blue dot right here and change it to ticks so now all these are tick based and that's what we want because we're messing with the tempo okay so let's listen to the song real fast um, like I said, the drums are what we're keeping. These two aren't going to be uh, sounding very good. They're just DI, but it was just a placeholder. So here we go. So we recorded that to a click track, like I said, at 87. So I'm going to change the whole uh, session's tempo. So I have it all set to rhythmic and polyphonic and monophonic elastic time and set the tick base. And so I just go up here. Now, if this was enabled, this is your conductor. You wouldn't be able to mess with changing the tempo. So I had to undo that when I started the session and set my tempo by clicking right there and typing it in. So I, w I wanted to do it like one or two bars slower to see what it sounded like. So all I would do is highlight that and, and that's 87 so I would click 86. Enter. So now it's one beat slower. And it's still with the click. Now, 
one thing you want to be careful about is if you do drastic tempo changes, if you're trying to slow it down a lot or speed it up a lot, you could run into um, phasing issues, uh, uh, very obvious audible phasing issues, so be careful. Um, let me show you. Let's try to do 70, see what that sounds like. Obviously, that's way too slow. But we're just trying to do like one or two beats. So the original one was 87. I would just try it 86, and then we would mess around like that. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.